Good morning, all. Good morning, Miss Sarah. Good morning. Are you okay? No, I'm just really like, I'm really grumpy today. Okay. I just feel like yelling. Wow, Miss Sarah, we are filming today and you're going to need to calm down. We can't have you angry on camera. You're right. I'm just grumpy. We said it's okay to be grumpy and angry, right? It is. It's okay to feel whatever emotion you're feeling, but it's how you act that's just as important. So yelling on camera isn't a good idea. Okay, you're right. But what am I going to do? Like, I can't film in this mood. Well, remember our video with our buddy George the Gingerbread? When he was feeling worried and stressed, do you remember the first thing we told him to do? Yeah, we told him to a point where he was feeling his stress. You got it. It's important to recognize how your body is feeling and when a strong emotion is coming up. So where are you feeling your anger? Feeling my anger in my brain and thinking negative thoughts and in my chest. It's feeling really tight. Okay. So when we calm down, there are three steps to follow. Do you remember what they are? It was stop, name the feelings, and calm down, right? Yes. So stop is our, our first step. Then naming your feelings and calming down. When you recognize a strong emotion is coming, that's when we say stop because it's easier to calm down when your emotion is smaller than when it's really big. We also want to name how we are feeling because it's important to put a name to the emotion. Want to try it? Sure. <clears throat> okay, stop. I'm feeling angry. And then I calm down. But now what? Can you help me calm down? I don't know what to do. Yeah. So first, we can try my favorite way, which is belly breathing. It helps if you also use positive self-talk, which is saying or thinking good thoughts to yourself in your head or even just concentrating on your breath. Want to try that? Sure. Okay. So I'm going to think of my dog as my positive thought, and then I just breathe slowly in through the nose and out through the mouth like this. Yeah. Okay. That kind of did relax my body a little bit, and my breathing did feel a little more in control. That was weird. Well, good. That's a good thing. So another way is by counting. You can do it out loud or in your head. You can count anything. Sheep, candy, a number, dogs, cats, whatever you want. So by concentrating on what you're counting, this helps your mind to focus on something else. So that way you can calm down. Sometimes counting to 10 works. Other times you might need to count way higher. Hmm. Okay, well then I'm gonna count cats. One, two, three, okay, that kind of worked too. I'm gonna admit it, that helped. That was really good. So belly breathing, positive self-talk, and counting are great for when you're in school or when you need to calm down right away. You don't need any materials and nobody has to know that you're doing it. Just make sure you don't yell at them. All right. <laughs> well, are there any other ways that we can calm down besides just belly breathing and positive Well, self? some ways I like are taking a walk, gardening, or even taking a nap. A nap? Sounds like my way to calm down. I guess I do like going on walks too and talking about it. But wow, well, thanks so much for the help. I honestly feel a lot better. Good, and you're welcome. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you again in our next video. And remember to calm those strong feelings down before they get too big. All right, bye.